Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an X this time going on episode, I believe it's seven, uh, springtime for Princess. And uh, yeah, so I'm a spider, so what has been pretty rough the couple episodes. I was going to say it's been pretty great because it started off great, but right now it's leaning very heavily on like kind of Deus Ex Machina, you know, mechanics of like bullshittery and... While there are things that definitely make sense and have been put forward that are fine and I'm fine with, there are other things that I've just been, like, so done with. And I'm wanting the character to actually show me why I should care about them as a character and their... Why they are relatable to me. And it, I think this one is even beyond being a female, because usually I, I feel like when they're female protagonists, I have less of a connection with them. But... I don't even feel that's a, the issue here. I just literally feel like I haven't been given the benefits of this character, besides them being funny, which they are funny. I just... I want them to be... Better, I guess? But not better. I want them to be... Unique. That's the word I'm looking for. And they have at least that uniqueness and the, the frivility and stuff, the thing, but I want them to be unique as a battle entity, right? Like, what is it besides being a monster and being smart that makes this character so powerful? Because obviously we have another one of those characters in the other area of, like, the stuff, whatever. So we've been talking a minute, and we're going to get into Episode 7, Ruler of Perseverance. So I learned more stuff off screen, yes. It, it, it pretty much... It pretty much gets repetitive at this point to where you can... And that's the other thing. Repeti repetitiveness can be rough. Ruler of Perseverance. The Evil Eye class skill. See, the eye thing actually makes better sense. That is a skill which I can I can kind of rock with. <laughs> it's funny that they have themselves. Well, damn. Why are there two SPs? So the evil eye was enough to just kill that, but I have no idea how strong that stro frog was. And what, really? Oh, appraisal. Okay, I was about to say, if it really already leveled up evil eye, I'd be a little pissy. So 10 is the max level? El elf, 11 of them requested. There are 26 of us in the classroom. Eleven at the Elf Village. Okay, that's seventeen. Interesting. How do they know? Seven missing. Did some of them die? Yeah, I, f I figured. Who have they confirmed dead?
most were reborn as humans in human territory, it wasn't as tough as you make it sound. It's a secret. Why? Secrets are not often great. Okay, then. What's with the secrets? I hate shit like that. I would say no. Either tell me or I'm not doing it. <laughs> Legit. Either tell me or fuck you. It's like, well, it's for my own safety. Well, if you can't really explain how, then I don't know why I trust you. Okay, so they're going out into real field. He's planning to attack, obviously. Only low-level weak monsters, except for Spider-Coon. Oh no, that's what it is, okay. I was blinking out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. After a couple hours of reacting, you get a little stale. Who you go, Doga? Yeah, that ain't happening. Isn't that for anybody, though? Like, having bad blood is not great in any sense. I'm not saying to avoid fighting people, just pick your fights for a reason. Oh. So pets can't come. You actually participating. I really am a problem student who's always ducking out of class. Is that something? What are you? Well, she's looking for people probably, right? Yeah, it's a secret. Typical. I'm waiting also for the series to get darker because light novels tend to get fairly dark in their storytelling from time to time. Even the ones that are cutesy like this, like Overlord or whatever, is they, you know, they have some pretty serious messed up parts. Nasal congestion. Is he going to be attacked? I hear a sword. Fire magic! Pretty easy to dodge so far. Oh, sorry. I was so late to be shocked. Because I already fucking knew it's not that. This is just a video game I live in, you bitch. This is my world. Of the game. What if he killed the other kids? I should have seen that from... Obviously not, because you couldn't do it. By not being an idiot. Oh, interesting. Interesting sword, at least. He's got a heavy weight at end. It'll make his chops fast, but it'll pull... The pull of time is... Or not fast, but heavy. Oh, I thought he had a weight at end. Alright, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna look at his all this shit. Minimize consumption, flame enhancements, flame attacks, tactile enhancement, instant body, sturdy monk, talisman acceleration. So he's a monk. Looks like he's a monk with magic power. It looks like he's got a good all-around stuff, actually. It's really tough. That's probably just a skill, the monk. It's not a class. It's really tough for me to tell, though, because the way these are thrown out, especially some of the percentile stuff is... Mm, what? I was just barely getting as strong as the monkeys after evolving. And those monkeys, while not smart, are definitely not that fucking dumb. If you don't believe me, try to go beat up four monkeys in the jungle. No, I'm just kidding. Emperor. Increase effect of skills. Heresy effect? He's got flame on his sword. His sword did have a thing. It looked weird when he lifted it earlier, but now it has that weighted edge again. He's gonna be king. And I just can't wait to be king. Lion King. 
Oh, he has goons. Well, I guess now he's going to finish him off. I didn't expect this part. This is actually a little decent. Probably not. No, I have a feeling he's basically been trying not to kill you because he's a nice guy. Who got him the the homegirl, the little... Oh. Oh, it's her. She must be pretty damn strong. That or she just got a good offering. Did she kill them? I'm the king's son. Nah, nah she's, she's gonna kill him. Ruler. She stole his abilities? Damn, that's a power. So that's the power of a ruler, huh? Oh, hey, Parton Kun's okay. See, this is good writing. Give a mysterious hint. Despite the predictability earlier. Oh, God, what now? Telescopic vision. I'm not even going to ask how. It doesn't matter. It's just hunting off screen, right? Like, it's fine. It literally is just standing there and getting stuff, though. I'm I'm a little irked. I'm not gonna lie about that. It's it's fucking shit up again. Uh, so now, body brain. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm an idiot and I figured that out. And I am an idiot. It is so weird to see this combo of 3D and animation. It is true. What, because it's been giving you broken skills the whole goddamn series? It honestly is more shocking not to get a broken skill at this point than before. Ooh, we're running out of noise. I think our time, so we're probably going to get a, the start of a fight here, and then next episode we're going to get a good one. Senior Administrator D. It just got a huge boost. This one looks like it was given though, which is at least better than the fucking system just magically and randomly at the right time. Yep. Yeah, relatively speaking, is it any different? Smile. Evil smile. Oh. Oh, he's just mad. How? With his political power? Because he didn't got no power himself anymore. Unless he gets it all back. Oh, hello. 
Rando. Villain! Ah! Interesting. So she's gonna give him back his skills? And then he screams and blood splatters! No. I think they're gonna work together. Akumana. They got a deal. It is what it is. Am I next time? Okay. Well, I don't. Wait, did it really? That was the just. It just straight went, huh? Okay. Well, that was pretty good. I will say a little bit irritating again at the end, but there seems to be some explanations forthcoming, which are good. It is still once again a bit irritating. Like he's literally just sitting there getting abilities for doing basically jack shit. <laughs> That's it. Must be nice. <laughs> It's like One Piece training. <laughs> Off screen just happened. It's cool. Heat of the moment, man. Breakthrough to the next level. And once again, once or twice is fine, but we're on episode eight, and it's like the sixth time. Uh, however, the writing on the world building of this episode was excellent and definitely pushed it up to an eight or a nine for me, despite those flaws, right? Like, you can be flawed and still get a very good score, right? Like. It doesn't intrinsically take away from something. Something with no flaws doesn't mean that something with some flaw is isn't automatically going to be better than something with some flaws. Okay, no matter um, how fucked up the episodes of these get, it's never going to be worse than like I don't know, Squid Billies or something, where it's it's literally really is just garbage on a stick. Um, and no amount of lack of flaws in storytelling or whatever is going to fix the fact that the content itself is not as impressive. At least for me personally, right? Some of it obviously being personal preference stuff. And some of it I think is just kind of based writing stuff, which is still personal preference, right? Like you can't claim that something is bad just because you don't like it, right? Just because I don't like it, it's not bad. The reasons and my arguments for it being bad are just based in some simple story writing things, and once again, could be countered by arguments of things I haven't thought of. You gotta be willing to open up your mind and accept things that you've been wrong before, right? Or been right before, or whatever. And it's funny, because I still haven't even released episode 4, or whatever, the monkey episode, where people are gonna, like, hate me for talking shit about the series, of course, because people love the series and have watched watching it so far, so. It was, again, I, I found it so funny, because it's like, oh, I was watching it, and I loved it, and then the next episode, it's like, well, he just hates it, now he's just an idiot asshole. Last time, when he was, when he liked it, I agreed with him, but when he doesn't, <laughs> he's wrong and an idiot, so it's just interesting to me how it's uh, such a big pull Especially for things we enjoy, right? Uh, and I did the same earlier. Having said all of that, I really enjoyed episode 7, Springtime for Princess, and I can't wait to start the next episode 8, Am I Dead? We're doing these live on stream, so if you want to come check us out on Twitch at any time to see these, come and see it. Uh, you can also, you know, uh, become a patron and get these episodes early. Remember to support the original content creator on Crunchyroll and stuff. Uh, use the bumpers on both sides, as well as the info in the description below, because it is a fun series, and... I think, uh, I think it has a good potential for growth. The light novels usually do pretty well, even though they're sometimes a little silly and ridiculous, or uh, over the top in some way extreme. And anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Reactions to the Next So I'm a Spider, So What, Episode 7, and we'll catch you next time. Later, guys. If you enjoyed watching Juan's fourth channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect, and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.